Thank you very much. My name is Dr. Lang Fafadamfa, Executive Secretary of the African Academy of Languages, Akalan. Akalan is a specialized institution of the African Union mandated to develop and promote African languages as a factor of African integration and development. How do you, as the number one citizen of Akala, want to take the Kiswahili, which has been officially made as a working language of African Union, to the crannies and all corners of the African continent? Um, we are passionate about this Kiswahili program because it is about time that the African people have a common language, a language that the African people would use in their education system, a language that the African peoples would use as a common language to identify themselves, a language that bears the values and the norms and the cultural attributes of the African people. Now, if you look at the uh, Dar es Salaam framework for action, there are two aspects of it. Firstly, the African Union wants to use Kiswahili as a working language of the organization. And secondly, the African Union, the African people, want to use Kiswahili as a language of wider communication in Africa. That means, as a lingua franca, that all Africa should use in their daily lives, in their activities, in their education system. Now, the first chapter, which is language, uh, working language of the African Union, to use a language as a working language, you have to use this language in, you know, the activities and the work operations of the African Union and the African peoples in the meetings, in other organizations. That means we have to train Kiswahili translators and interpreters. Interpreters from Kiswahili to English and French and Portuguese and Spanish and Arabic and other languages and vice versa. Interpretation and translation. And Akalan's Pan-African Center for Interpretation and Translation would take up this responsibility and collaborate with the Institute of Kiswahili Studies in the University of Dar es Salaam and Bakita, which is the Kiswahili Council of Tanzania, and the Bakiza, the Kiswahili Council of Zanzibar. And all the parties in East Africa and on the continent, we will train Kiswahili interpreters and translators, and they will be deployed to be used as translators and interpreters and assist in interpreting and translating during meetings of the African Union, during summits, during specialized technical committee meetings, during Akalans meetings, etc. The second chapter Using Kiswahili as a work as, as as a language of wider communication, a lingua franca, we need to introduce Kiswahili in the education system. To use 
a language as an official language and a lingua franca, the people must use this language. That means they must be able to speak this language. They must learn this language in the education system, in the school system. Therefore, Akaran would collaborate with universities through the development of language policies, universities and member states to put Kiswahili at the center stage of our education system. African universities should establish African language or languages departments. And in this African languages department, Kiswahili should be a core subject. And in this way, we will train people to speak Kiswahili, to be competent in Kiswahili, and to train trainers to breed local teachers and uh, to eventually introduce Kiswahili in the primary education system in Africa. Finally, moving forward on these aspects, of course, in this great dreams and visions and um, set out goals towards making Kiswahili to have its pride of place in Africa. What are those who are the stakeholders that you need, Akalan need, to join the train, this moving train, towards achieving these lofty goals that have been set? Well, um, as a program, this is not a simple project. It's a program. And as a program for the African people, all Africa is a stakeholder of this project, primarily. And then we'll turn to our member states, whose leaders collectively joined their hands to adopt Kiswahili as a working language of the African Union and a language of wider communication in Africa. Then we will go to our university system to try to implement this thing, this Kiswahili program. We need to have Kiswahili in our education system. We will continue to the private sector since all Africa own this project. All Africa, the public and the private sector, are stakeholders. We are urging the private sector, our companies, to support the project the program so that we can collectively, effectively, sustainably implement Kiswahili effectively as a working language of the African Union and a language of wider communication in Africa. Thank you very much for chatting with me. We're very much grateful indeed. You're very I'm, welcome. I'm, 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 I'm grateful. Thank you for having me. We wish you a successful project Thank as you. we move forward. Thank, Thank you, you and God much. bless you.